It's a true Soviet icon. The celebrated statue of the worker and the farm girl became the unmistakable logo of Mosfilm. The 24-meter-high sculpture in stainless steel triumphed when put on show for the first time at the 1937 World Fair in Paris. On the home soil, it stood proud for decades for millions. It became a symbol of the socialist dream. Following the breakup of the USSR, the steel dream dissolved. It is a universal legacy, like the Statue of Liberty, or the Christ in Rio, or Rodin's thinker. To the sculptor's granddaughter, Marfa Muhina, Russia had lost one of its most important cultural icons. During Perestroika, France wanted to buy the statue. They offered a lot of money, many times over. But the city didn't sell it. Instead, they cut it up. They've destroyed it. The statue was dismantled in 2003 to be repaired for the 2010 World Expo. But Moscow's bid to host it lost to Shanghai. 2008 should have seen it back to its former glory, this time crowning a car park and mall as part of an exhibition center. But it still remains hidden from view in the care of the city. Restoration is a lengthy, complicated process. Every one of the 40 parts had to be cleaned and varnished. Inside enforcement had to be designed. We even brought in space scientists to do the calculations. After a week-long search, we found the statue in a warehouse next to a shop selling car parts in Moscow's outskirts. The signs of previous work are there, but the guard told us we were rare visitors nowadays. Officially, the restoration is ongoing, but here there is nobody working on putting these body parts back together. They're stored up here, gathering dust, rusting away, and many are beginning to wonder whether the worker and the farm girl will ever rise up and shine again. I'm no longer expecting to see it. I'm convinced there are people not interested in putting the statue up again. There is a monopoly on bad sculpture in Moscow, and many sculptors feel threatened by a genius work of art. The sculptor once thought the worker and the farm girl should stand here, but instead it is Peter the Great by an artist much favored by Moscow mayor, which occupies the spot. There is no politics involved. We all want to see the statue back in place. Moscow mayor's civil council and the chief architect approved the concept last autumn, and now the work is going ahead. An urban legend has it the original plans for the worker and the farm girl have been lost. Whether it's bureaucracy, lack of funding or just slow progress, the story of the statue spotlights another issue. With a mixed identity, Russia is still looking for a place for its Soviet legacy. Anastasia Khaidulina, RT, Moscow.